And hostage negotiations are ongoing in Cairo as mediators push the U.S. proposed plan. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said that the ball is in Hamas's court as the White House is desperately trying to reach a deal. ILTV's Devo Klein has the report. In the latest round of hostage negotiations, U.S. officials are pressuring both Israel and Qatar as the White House expressed much eagerness to come to a deal. We have an offer that's on the table now to Hamas that is very serious and um, should be accepted. Um, Hamas could move forward with this immediately and get a ceasefire that would benefit people throughout Gaza as well as, of course, get the hostages home. The newest conditions proposed by CIA Chief William Burns would see a six-week ceasefire, the release of 900 Palestinian security prisoners convicted of murdering Israelis, and most importantly, an IDF withdrawal from the corridor between the northern and southern parts of the Gaza Strip, thus allowing Palestinians to return to the north. In exchange, Hamas would release 40 hostages. Yet Hamas has already clarified that they cannot comply to the release of 40 living hostages in the humanitarian categories because there are simply not enough. These criteria were approved by Israel on the condition that Israel can veto the release of certain prisoners and have the ability to release them internationally, preventing them from returning to Gaza and the West Bank. Hamas has noted that the deal does not fulfill any of Hamas's wishes, but is set to give a final answer soon. Israeli officials are speculating the Hamas will not accept due to the full withdrawal of IDF troops this week, a move that officials believe to have hurt negotiations, as Hamas would not compromise when so much was given to it for free. Washington has stated that the U.S. believes Israel is ready for a ceasefire and that it's time for Hamas to step up and go forward with this round of negotiations to see hostages released and a pause in fighting. We continue to work very closely with Israel, with Egypt, with uh, Qatar, uh, on getting an agreement that will result in an immediate ceasefire and the release of hostages and also create even better conditions for surging assistance to those who need it uh, in Gaza. 